Like I said, lickety split. So, we are at SummerSlam. <clears throat> the one thing I find funny more than anything is, no matter what, they always have the Triple H Shawn Michaels straight fight. No matter what. Then you have just random gimmick matches. See, Eddie Guerrero and Lance Storm Hell in a Cell. Lesnar and myself against Rhino and Austin in a steel cage. Doesn't even make s no build for that. Well, no build for any of the matches. Such a pointless loading screen for this. What? Huh? Hey, good old Jr. Yeah, sometimes you get Jr. And other times, depending whether you chose Raw or SmackDown, you get. Or am I thinking of here? I'm thinking of here comes the pain, where you get triple the. That's what happens when you're watching the screen and match and trying to explain a story. Yeah, and I returned and here we just have a random cage. Like I was saying, in this you'd find either Flair or I think Vince. In Here Comes the Pain, it's either Stephanie or Eric Bischoff. Got that out of the way. Well, we've seen all the participants' entrances many times before. I've kicked Rhino's ass before. I'm kicking Austin's ass for. Fucking me up at Survivor Series. Sensor for. You 
even hear you don't hear him swear at all. It's one of the things I don't understand about the game. You suck, Rhino. Commentary makes sense in regards to the superstar. Is that a good thing? Seems in the later games they just got lazy. I know they got lazy with the commentary. They've completely stuffed up weapons. Say you're lacking. Yeah, say you. You beat their ass with a chair. Somehow, stunner! It just makes no sense at all. Where are we? It makes no sense. Oh, really? It really just makes no sense. Yeah, I let my partner go. Well, I hope and then I just let one of my phones go and then I just continue kicking ass. Just go on, you moron! Oh, fuck it. Why not just get the match over and done with? Okay, we beat them. I don't know what the. I don't know how the story progresses. Looks like we're about to find out. anything really but still that makes no sense okay so we should make our way towards unforgiven and maybe we'll see along the way whether someone else gets fired Okay, I can see I'm not having a battle royal. I pray to God I do. I just want a different match. Not too much to ask. I'm sick of seeing you as one on one as tag teams, triple threats. Keeping a battle royal here and there. Oh, I'm never gonna get a battle royal, am I? remember what the hell's gonna happen leading up to Unforgiven. 
Oh, completely cancelled out of Battle Royal. It's complete bullcrap. Showing Flair's entrance as if he's a competitor. And so, the opponent, I'm showing now. Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing 234 pounds, Nature Boy, Rick Flair. Entrances ever. Okay, I stand corrected. Thank bloody God. At last, I can get the kick in his ass. And, and have the nature boy be my personal assistant. Yes, I can. I can be sadistic, depending on what circumstance. I did not just get bitch slapped. Tell me, I didn't just see that. Soon. I'll just show well, if I can Flair being my assistant at least once. Once I've done that, then I'll end the video. Aw, such good matches. Wish I got to be in one. Instead I have to verse Edge. I don't remember if I don't have to or not. <laughs> the 
I'm making you suffer. And well, I'm the champion. I need a week off. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought from the type it looks pink so far, yeah, maybe for a Wilson, right? Yeah, it ain't. HP Fred, Top Beat Rikishi, and Austin Beat Rikishi. Oh, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> okay, I've, sh I've shown one of the things you can do. With Flair as your assistant, so for now, just gonna end the video. And when I come back, we shall continue into the third September third week and see what else we can do to humiliate Flair. <laughs>